and Rogue. With a range of drive modes and intelligent off-road technology, you can take a Sunday stroll in the least basic of places. The 2022 Nissan family of SUVs. Anything but basic. Get 1.9% financing for up to 72 months on 14 models. Like Rogue with best-in-class fuel economy among gas engines. The CBS News app, streaming CBS News Los Angeles. And KCAL 9. What does that mean? Hundreds of firefighters. Oh no! Only on KCAL 9. CBS News Los Angeles and KCAL 9. Streaming on the CBS News app and Pluto TV. KCAL 9 has your late night laughs. Starting with Blackish at 11 p.m. <laughs> Two Broke Girls at 12 a.m. Go Earl! Go Earl! And Mike and Molly at 12.30. <laughs> the late night comedy block. Only on KCAL 9. Live from the Broadcast Center in Los Angeles, this is KCAL 9 News at 9. There's something seriously wrong when people came to this park in broad daylight and pulled out weapons and thought it was okay to shoot someone. Now at 9, a South Lane community demanding change and accountability after a mass shooting at a park. Tonight, we're live in San Pedro where the search continues for the suspects in the deadly shooting at Peck Park. Problems at LA's newest landmark have the city scrambling for answers. Coming up, we'll show you the new changes just made on the 6th Street Bridge. And are we just days away from LA County reimposing the mask mandate? Well, tonight, one LA County supervisor is speaking out against it. I'm Tom Waite with the very latest coming up. So, for 17 years, you never got a raise. Nunca me aumentaron. Low wage workers allegedly robbed of their hard earned money by their own employers. Tonight, KCAL 9 investigates wage theft in California. How to know if you've been a victim. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us. I'm Serene Branson in tonight for Pat and Juan. We begin with breaking news. An off duty LA County Sheriff's deputy has been shot tonight in Harbor City. Let's get right to Desmond Shaw, who's live for us in Sky 9. Des, what can you tell us? Well, Serene, we're on doorstep place here. You see LAPD uh, out here investigating this. As you said, uh, one off-duty LA County Sheriff's deputy now at the hospital, we believe, at Harbor UCLA Medical Center, not too far away from here. We went over to the hospital and saw several deputy vehicles there and deputies walking in and out of the uh, hospital. We can also show you what the scene looked like here before nightfall. Might be able to see some of the details a little bit better. There is an evidence marker right down here. You might see that little speck of yellow right there. That may be some bullet casings at uh, LAPD is investigating this as a possible family disturbance. One person is in custody uh, right now, so it's unclear if the deputy was a male or a female or what condition they're in right now at the hospital, but off-duty deputy shot and the investigation now taking place with LAPD. Live in Skynet overhead, I'm Desmond Shaw. Serene, back to you in the studio. All right, Desmond, thank you. We are learning more about yesterday's deadly mass shooting in a local park and how neighbors are fed up with the violence. It happened in Peck Park at Western and Summerland Avenues in San Pedro. Two people died and six others were injured. KCAL 9's Lori Perez is live for us in San Pedro with more on the event that was going on when the shootings happened and the concerns in the community. Lori. Well, Serene, right where we're standing yesterday was a scene of chaos on this basketball court. There was a crowd of anxious and scared people over here on the street is where EMTs were triaging victims. And down the road was the main scene of the crime. Throughout this community, neighbors and leaders are reeling after a shooting that, as you said, killed two people and left six others injured with the shooter or shooters still on the run. Many are trying to stop more damage. It seemed like the bullets was getting bigger and bigger, so that made people run faster and faster. So, like I say, it, it was bad. Andre Christian was in Peck Park Sunday just before 4 when the shooting started, and part of a crowd of hundreds held in lockdown as an army of first responders descended on reports of multiple victims and possibly multiple suspects. LAPD says of eight people hit by gunfire, two men died at the hospital, six others are stable. And as the search for the shooter or shooters continues, Christian and other gang interventionists who joined me on Zoom 
say they don't know who the suspects are, but they are certain of who they are not. But they didn't have no connection to the low riding world or the baseball world at all. It looked 